Hi. Hi, my uh, name is Natalie Fraser Purdy, N A T A L I E F R A S E R P U R D Y. I'm the director of the walk. And the way that the play came to be as it was staged was because when Connie, our lovely grey nun who is, the, uh, is involved with PAC, decided to commission to have this play written, Catherine went for these late night walks trying to figure out how she could come to terms with such difficult subject matter. As with all of the actors and myself, right from the beginning, the second you start researching it, you're crying, you're sick to your stomach. It's very, very difficult material, as I'm sure you know. So on her walks, that's where she came for up for the title, and they kept on having these meetings, this director and this nun and this playwright. And the director, the original director, did leave, and that's how I came to be here. And as she was discussing this with Connie, they came to the idea that, you know what, this is the way we should do it. It adds as a buffer between the harshness of the story and the audience so that they can listen and so that it can bring it home and so that they realize that it's not only happening all over the world and that was why we used the mask to show the faceless millions and then the unmasked women were the individual women and the plight of the three people at the cafe and their struggles was to show that not only are people struggling abroad but we're struggling right here with how do we help and why don't we help? And how are we personally affected by our own traumas in our own lives versus the trauma of anybody's daughter or son on this planet? And even our man, our one man who played all the men, we tried to make sure that this wasn't a man-hating play, that there was that understanding that he came from a father and a mother and that he suffered and that there were struggles and there was pain that led him to becoming these different men. So can you tell me a little bit about the original music uh, in the play? Yes, we had a drummer come in and through improvisation he found the rhythm uh, that followed all of the trafficked women's stories and it only played through their stories as a heartbeat through the play, as a, a carnal rhythm to connect us to their suffering, to their hearts, so that we would have that pulse from beginning to end.